okay. Idea of tonight's video was um, how how to deal in a tragic event, and it's actually quite a coincidence because I was just thinking about this the other day. How to deal in a tragic event? Well, the the problem with our society is the way that we're raised up and trained is instead of kind of kind of building a foundation within ourselves. Uh, we look outwardly to a foundation outside of us now. Oh, oh, shout out to Michelle. She's the one who gave me the idea for this video. Um, so this isn't a diss at all. This is the way most of us are. Is we're kind of trained to to kind of build our foundations of ourselves in out uh, um, uh, things outside of us, right? So we we play roles and we we feel that those roles make us who we are so this could be husband this could be wife this could be uh employee this could be anything rich man dad uh, um mother uh sister brother pastor religious something in the church and instead of saying I don't know how to explain it so well, but instead of saying, I am okay with just me, we cling on to these outside um, people, situations, and we say, okay, that is me. Um, you can also do this with money. Money is who I am. That's me. So unfortunately, that doesn't allow us to exactly be in the now. That doesn't allow us to exactly uh, move with the ebb and flow of life. Um, because the ebb and flow of life is change, constant change. But when we latch ourselves to objects, people, things, when they change, our whole fucking structure crumbles. Everything we thought we were, everything we thought we knew, everything we thought we felt, our emotions crumbles, shatters, and you're left with this missing piece and you don't know what to do. And as I said, this is very justifiable. This is this is this is not a diss at all towards that, because this is what happens to most people. And so the left shattered. Um, like let's just say a, a family member dies, a husband dies, right? So we built we built this structure of I am who I am because of this person. Now all of a sudden through some tragic unfortunate event that person is no longer there anymore so you're left with oh my god who am I how do I pick up and start again well my tip would be and I'm sure any life coach would say the same thing is kind of the Buddhist approach to go within go inside of yourself I wouldn't say I honestly in my personal opinion I wouldn't say search out religion I wouldn't say search out Jesus which a lot of people do but that's still an outside figure you know, so when tragedy like this strikes and you built your foundation of yourself upon this this other person or situation, you have to start to learn who you are, because that's really the only thing that might get you out of it. You know, is to start to realize that okay, I can be okay without this person. I can live without this money. I can I can live without this job. You know, like. If you're stuck in a job and you get fired, and most people will just die. They'll be dead. You know, they'll be wrapped in depression. I lost my job. Well, if you don't allow yourself to be your job, but allow yourself just to to do your job, you won't necessarily hold on so much to that specific institution, uh, if you will. So if a family member dies, I would say find out who you are. Do a search. Start to read. Read self-help books. Um, think more about what you like, what you love, you know, because a lot of times people think that it's honorable to honorable as in they think that they think that it's 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 good for them to say, I loved this person so much, it's honorable for me to be broken now that they're gone. That's not that's not a really good mind state though. Because then you're using this other person that you built your foundation on as a crutch for your collapse. And you're going to self-sabotage yourself to a breaking point where you're not going to get out of. 
So you have to say, and it's okay, it's okay, you're not a bad person to say, I have to move on, because we do, you know, and, and my, I've had, my best friend died, I've had people die, I'm not going to sit here and say it was my mother, or my significant other, I will not, I will not sit here and say that, but, um, you, you have to say, I, I'm going to move on, I have to, I have to move on, and that's good, that's okay, because you know what, they passed away, that's very sad, yet on the other hand, I'm sure that if they were there and where they are now, they would say the same thing. You know what? I'm here and you're there. You're still there. You still have to keep going. You know, you're still alive. I had a dream once. <clears throat> my dreams are pretty wild. But my, my dead grandmother, she hugged me and she told me, uh, keep moving. We always keep moving. And I, I'll never forget that. And what I took from that kind of intuitively, that's kind of how dreams go, is Trevor, you just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, because you never know what's going to happen, you never know what's around the next corner, you never know if tragedy is going to strike, but you have to keep moving, and that's what I would say to you guys, don't feel bad, you know, don't, don't feel like shitty to move on, this doesn't mean you have to forget, you know what I mean, this doesn't mean you have to forget the person you love, this doesn't mean you have to forget the good times you had, this doesn't mean you have to act like it never happened, this doesn't mean it, it didn't matter, do you know what I mean, that's another thing we hold on to, well if it mattered, that means I should be broken, no, no, that's not true, you know, if it mattered, let it help you grow, let these situations help you grow when tragedy strikes, because that's the good thing that comes out of fucked up situations, take it and build, and, and learn to be yourself again, and learn to start to work with that fork in the road. You know what I mean? And if you and if you build your foundation on somebody else or some other structure and they go away, you have to go the other way and you have to learn how to live without that. And you can because you are a solo being in a separate body. So now you just rebuild. You just rebuild. So learn to get to know yourself again. Learn to love yourself again. Learn to w see what it feels like when you didn't have that 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 specific person or job or money or whatever it was. Learn to re try to remember what it was like when you didn't have that. Oh, you were still a person, right? You were still doing your life. You were still going about uh, your life in, in everyday ways, you know. And you have to you have to you have to do that again. You have to go within. It's good to get advice. It's good to talk to your family about you know your broken heart and your bad time. But really, it all comes down to you yourself saying, okay. It's time to pick myself up. This happened. It's very sad, but I want to be happy again. I genuinely want to be happy. I genuinely want to live again, and it's okay to want to have fun again. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, you have the chance to do it all over again. In unfortunate events, but you have a chance to do it all over again. So, when tragedy strikes, how do you deal? You have to learn. to grow a new skin you know you have to learn you just came out of your cocoon you have to learn to fly again that's good because you now you can rebuild the whole structure and it's actually kind of fun you know learn what you love again learn what you like to do outside of your job or outside of the relationship that you had or outside of the you know the friendship you had before your friend passed away you know and you can learn yourself all over again and get to know yourself I really liked that, Michelle. That was really a good one, and I hope that I helped. Uh, let me know how you feel, guys. Thank you. Monday edition. Empowered wet work with Trevor Martin assassinating, procrastinating mind states. Fuck out.